today I'm going to be doing a demonstration about our Botanical Foundation by Limelight by Alcone. Um, it's a wax-based foundation. I have all my foundation, everything done right now, but um, in a second you're going to see me with no foundation on. Never done a picture or a video like this uh, showing you um, bare face. So stay tuned if you'd like to see. Thanks. Ah, don't look at my face. Um, okay, so our botanical foundation. So this foundation, these are just a bunch of different shades. Um, I am this one right here. Shinto one, pretty pale right now. Um, our foundation is a wax-based foundation, which originally when I heard about that, I was kind of nervous because I've never used anything like that, but it's super easy and I just want to show you this. Um, don't mind my little Chewy in the background. Uh, he likes to get ready with me in the morning. No. Um, so it's wax-based, meaning you just need to warm it up um, to get it to be able to blend well on your skin. So our foundation is also 50% uh, pigment meaning that you don't need very much to get awesome coverage um, and being having problematic skin I don't like that cakey look so a lot of foundations actually only have between 18 and 22 percent around um, pigmentation so you have to keep putting more and more on to actually cover get the coverage that you want so this foundation you don't need very much um, actually I use this little scraper um, if it's your own foundation, your personal foundation, um, you can use your, your, uh, brush or if you have, a like a sponge, this is our blender full sponge, I need to clean it, um, you can just dip it right in there because <clears throat> it's your own personal one, but since I use these for color matching, I'm going to use my scraper. So you don't really need very much. see about I'm gonna start off with that much might even be too much I don't know um and then I'm going to warm it up especially being here in Wisconsin it's cold so it is a wax and being a wax I just put it on the back of my hand being a wax it's not going to sink into your pores or your fine lines throughout the day it's going to sit nicely and smoothly on top of your skin so um then you're just going to see how it's like a little it's it's pretty firm right now um, all you have to do is go like this warm it up with your body heat and as you can see it gets a lot creamier um, of a texture you can also actually make this into a BB cream or a liquid foundation um, by adding a moisturizer to make like a BB cream or our must do oil to make a beautiful liquid foundation. I have very oily skin so this is the method that I prefer. So then I'm just gonna dot it around my face. And I'm done! No, I'm just kidding. Alright, so I'm gonna use this buffer brush. I really like using the buffer brush or my um, blenderful sponge this one but I'm gonna try the buffer brush for this demonstration so I like either one of these actually I like using both so I use this and then this but this buffer brush is my all-time favorite so just go in little circular motions you can go back and forth Sorry, it's hard to see. I'm kind of just doing half so I can kind of show you the difference. And obviously I have a problematic area there. I might have to go back in there. Um, but look how nice this blends out. And I already did my eye makeup. I actually learned this tip um, to do your eye makeup prior, which is the first time I tried. So if you have any fall off, you can wipe it off right away. And it doesn't mess up your foundation. So look at that. Just look at the difference between those. Very nice and smooth. Okay, I'm gonna go with the rest. 
super easy. I know wax base kind of made me nervous. Actually made me very nervous. I'm like, I don't know how to do that. So yeah, you saw how little amount I needed. I still have some on my hand. I'm gonna just dip that in there for some. Those problem areas. And this is with no concealer or anything. So, just wanna create that nice base all over your face and then you can obviously go back in with concealer um, on like a few problem areas through here and here which our concealer is awesome it is a waterproof concealer great coverage covers tattoos um, but anyways I'll do that in another video but yep that's our foundation and then I like to uh, set it with our pressed powder but so that's this. It's actually, it looks white, but it's a translucent powder. So it keeps it set. Um, I do have oily skin, so it's awesome. Um, some people who like the dewy finish will just leave it at that. But I like a matte finish and it lasts throughout the entire day. So that's our botanical foundation. Let me know if you'd like to get a color match or if you have any other questions. Thanks.